in this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you about arrays. I'm going to give you an introduction to what they are, how they can save you some time, and a very simple example. Now, an array is basically just like a regular formula or regular function. It can just do more things at once. So it allows you to save steps, basically, and save time. Now, what I have prepared here is a very simple chart with four salesmen and their sales for 2006 and 2007. There are a few things I want to find out. The average sales for 06 and 07. And then I want to find out the average sales increase from 2006 to 2007. Now, to get their average sales, it's very easy. Equals, average, open parentheses, select everything for 06, close parentheses, enter. You see that it is 62. For 07, exactly the same, just select different data. And there you go, average sales for 06 and 07, very easy. However, to get the average sales increase, we have to have an extra step. Now, the extra step includes adding a new column. So without an array, you have to do it like this. You have to set it up where it goes equals this minus that to get the increase. Then copy all of that down. Then on average sales increase equals average and select the increase column. But that takes more time. So if you want to do it really quickly, you can use an array to find the average sales increase. So let's do that real quick. Delete this column. Delete what's in here. Now let's create an array to do the exact same thing. You create it basically the same way. Equals average open parentheses but this time we're going to select the entire sales for 2007 minus 2006. So average of sales for 2007 minus 2006 and we're selecting ranges here not individual cells close parentheses. Now, one thing to note, in order to make this an array, you have to hit control shift enter. If you don't do that, if you just hit regular enter like you do with a normal function, what will happen is you'll get nothing to return. It'll just say pound value. So double click, hit control shift enter, and then you get the average sales increase of six but you've done it without the column for sales increase here. So it saved you an extra step. One thing to note, if you do click the cell with an array in it and you either double click, the brackets go away. It's not an array anymore, so you can't just hit enter. Every time you click the cell to get to the formula, you have to hit control shift enter. And it's the same way if you go up here to the formula bar, it loses it its array status immediately. You have to hit control shift enter when you're done or it will not be an array. And that's a very simple introduction to how to use arrays to save some time.